However, we're going to try to speak the universal language of horses and we're going to help them know what's going to be expected out of them. And I think that the simple change of lead is often kind of an oxymoron. Is oftentimes we forget that the simple change of lead is meant to be simple. It's meant to be an easy situation for our horse and for our rider. But oftentimes we think a simple change of lead is something that gets complicated, we get frustrated with riders, and riders start to get really pushy in a simple lead change and our horse gets, starts to feel threatened in a lot of ways. So today we're going to go through some exercises, we're going to help our riders work through different situations to be able to best communicate to their horse and we're also going to be able to help our rider best communicate and help our horse to have a soft and easy transition that's very easy to understand what the outcome's meant to be. So oftentimes when I say counter canter, my people's faces go white. They're like, oh my god, counter canter is like this big mystical, magical, no one thinks they can do. But I say, can you canter your horse? They say yes. Can you canter on the left lead? Sure. Can you canter on the right lead? Yep. Guess what? You can counter canter. If the point isn't the counter canter, the point is controlling all of the other things that you have going on with him. Which is way more important than the counter canter, because if you can control and fix these things, you can counter canter, no problem. But if you could give the aids for the loper canter to the right, and you could give them to the left. When we do, for example, if we're tracking right and we do a counter canter left, you're doing what? You're just giving the aids for the left lead. Right? We don't have to make it any scarier or harder than that. So when you explain it like that, it sounds easier, but when you just say counter canter, like, I might as well say Piaf.